Hello and welcome from Eastern Europe. My name is Colbert HD and today I will talk about game named Bastard. Made in Belarus. Released in 2018, the game stormed the gaming community with great force. No, no, I'm just kidding. It was released and probably nobody noticed that. It's a game with style resembling that one of the Heroes of Might and Magic. Here you will investigate some cases of your missing friends and you will basically roam around just asking questions and talking to Vorios and friendly characters. Graphics and style. You can easily tell that this is an indie game, because nothing shines, there is no special effects whatsoever, everything is painted in a dull gloomy colors, but I don't think it's a bad thing, because I loved games like Gloomy and Dark First Diablo way more than that colorful childish third edition. It's like vodka, the best is without any color, and that colorless vodka will give you best special effects in your mind. So you might say. Comrade, colors are for pussies, right? And I would say yes. So overall graphics and style are okay, just okay. You can see that by yourself. Five vodkas out of ten. Music and sound. Well, music is actually really nice, especially if you're a fan of medieval jingles. It's somewhat similar to that music you hear on every turn-based fantasy game. Though this title is not a fantasy one, it is set in European medieval timeline. So music, I would say, hmm, 7 vodkas out of 10. Gameplay. Here you will have to make tons of decisions. If you want to be good or bad person, it's up to you. Every time when you want to stop a crime, give helping hand or penis to someone, you will lose authority point. The less you have, the weaker you get. But if you commit some acts that are morally wrongish, like sell somebody to a slavery or steal vodka from your friends, you will get your authority points back, so you can use them on a good deeds. Game also will require you to read a lot. There are plenty of text and nobody is voicing it. Game is formed with two modes. One is exploration, when you just walk around with your character, another is fight mode, where you fight. Combat is pretty simple. If you played Heroes, King's Bounty or other similar game, you will feel just at home. Controls are simple, just point and click. Was game interesting for me? Well, it's simple, slow and well written. I was interested, but not extremely entertained. Six vodkas out of ten. Rice. 9 euros. Well, for that price you can buy one cheap whiskey or two bottles of vodka in Lidl. But I think the price is somewhat fair. Could be lower, but it's not 20 euros, you know. 7 vodkas out of 10. So overall score is... 6.2 vodkas out of 10. Not that bad, but not great either. This was called Bear HD. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing or even backing me up on Patreon so I could buy myself best vodka there is. Have a great day. Bye.